Nice to see you again here at Superhero 101. I'm your instructor, Marvel Eds. Today we take a look at the classic hero, Zorro, as he teaches us a thing or two. The United States and the Republic of Mexico have always been good neighbors. For a century, friendly hands have clasped across the border in a token of enduring peace. And yet, from time to time, this peace has been endangered by money-mad plottings of sinister groups. The reign of terror inspired by one such group is our story. And into this, Zorro rides again. So saddle up and let's move out into chapter one of Zorro Rides Again, Death from the Sky. Oh, if 
there were only a man like your great uncle Zorro down there. Well, he would know what to do with such as El Lobo. But what do we do about it? Protest to the authorities and wait until El Lobo and his raiders choose to commit another outrage. Oh, I'm sorry, Don Manuel. I guess it's just not knowing what to do about it. There is something we can do. By signing the California Yucatan Railroad over to Marsden and allowing him to finish construction on it, I believe El Lobo's rage will be stopped. But the railroad in Marsden's hands would be ruinous to Mexico. Exactly. The welfare of thousands of our people depend upon our construction of the railroad. No, we will not sell. <laughs> I'd like to sit a while. Don Manuel! Don Manuel! It has come! The telegram! It's from James. He's arriving tomorrow. Oh boy, oh boy! Bravissimo! <laughs> You're a happy Ronaldo, aren't you? <laughs> ah, senor, I'm very happy. You were with James a lot when he was a little boy. Si, senorita. When he's a little kid, I watch over him all the time. I owe Rinaldo a great deal for his care of my nephew. I understand that James is a direct descendant of the famous Zorro. Zorro is his great-grandfather. With the blood of Zorro in his veins, your nephew may be just the man to cope with El Lobo. You are speaking of me, senorita? I'm pleased to hear my name on such pretty lips. What brings you to my house? I come on business, Senor Vega. Railroad business. I have no business with murderers and outlaws. The man I represent is soft-hearted, perhaps a little foolish. He's given me money with the suggestion I exchange it for certain interests in the California Yucatan Railroad Company. Marsden's in back of this. Marsden? Marsden. Never heard of him. Marsden's paying you to stop construction on the railroad, and you know it. Will you sign over your holdings? Never. That's all I wanted to know. You can start to work. Sure. And make the fire a good one. The Lobo! What's the matter with him? He's branded. Zorro. Drop your gun. Eternally indebted to you, senor. Who are you? You may call me Zorro. Zorro? But Zorro... Yes, senorita, I know. Zorro has been dead these many years. But the spirit of Zorro will never die. But you are like Zorro in every way. If that is true, my friend. I can ask for nothing more. And now, I must go. I will never be far away. May the saints be with you, whoever you are.
singing away. I laugh at life to storm and strife. With mighty grip, I crack my whip. With cold, it's cold like nights of old. Rollicking on into the dawn. He ye men of heart. All rides again, riding along. Singing a song. Stay tuned. For more excitement. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio also teaches the art of indie filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. going to make it. The roads are pretty bad. <laughs> so this is Miss Andrews. How do you do? And her brother. It's a pleasure. Pardon my glove. Certainly. Well, Philip's my partner in business. Is that so? Yes. Atrus. Cinco. Madre mía. the railroad is about to lay a track across that strip of desert. They'd be in serious difficulties if anything should happen to them. I got a hunch something's going to happen to them. Okay, I'll take care of it right away. leaving without senor. Yes. James can stay here. It'll be safer for him. But then I must go with you. No. You remain. He'll need some refreshments when he awakens.
Have the men stop firing until they get in. It's a trap. We're completely surrounded. Close in. They let you get in so that they can get Senor, you call off your men. Refuse, and you're dead. Clear out, I tell you! Go on, clear out! Now I suppose you'll shoot me in my back. No, senor, I've made a bargain, and I will keep it. We will meet again. You can go. Again, I am indebted to you, senor. Before I go, may I know who you are? died, but his death will not go unavenged. Can't you get rid of that man? We're all going to be out a lot of money if the railroad doesn't fold. You mean you'll be out a lot of money. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. There's a special train with the California Yucatan payroll aboard that's going to leave El Cio for the end of the line Monday. James, look for the last time. Won't you come with us? After all, the payroll is pretty important. And between El Cio and the end of the line, anything might happen. Look, just because I inherited a railroad doesn't mean I know anything about it. Now, look, if you and Joyce want to run along and ride with the payroll, you go right ahead. It's going to be all right. Your car is ready, senores. Without you, there wouldn't be any Zorro. Chihuahua, hombre. I get too angry sometimes when I think that Don Felipe and the senorita not guess you are Zorro and pick on you to little pieces. But it's our job not to let anyone find out who Zorro is. Don't even think about changing that channel. The Blurry Dude Show is all about informing and entertaining the indie community. 
We review music, art, and films from the Northeast Ohio area. What the Blurry Dude means to me is it's a place where local artists can submit their films and music. I believe that the purpose of the Blurry Dude show is to make the general public more aware of the existence of the indie community. And of course to have fun. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio, also teaches the art of indie filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. El Lobo will get him.
lesson for today is, after making a great entrance, be sure and leave them with your theme song coming from your lips. I will never be far away. May the saints be with you, whoever you are. Thanks for joining us, and remember, you are all heroes to me. See you soon. enough of Superhero 101? Visit us online at www.superhero-101.com.